I'd like to leave you with just four points, of course. Just four points in this last shout. Quite simply, the most important word in all of the world and all of the creation is you. Self. Self. Humans, especially oddly enough highly evolved humans, have a hard time with self. Now, if you go back through all the shouds, all the ten years of workshops, the most common words you're going to see in there are you and self. I want you to be self-full. I want you to consider yourself first. Oh, you've been trained to think that that's wrong. But you know the ones who trained you to think that's wrong, they're going through their own hell right now. <laughs> when you take care of yourself and when you love yourself, when you fall intimately, deeply in love with yourself and shamelessly in love with yourself, it's like magic. And it has more of an effect yeah, – Calder doesn't like what I'm going to say, but you know, this is my last shout, so I'm going to say it. <laughs> when you think of yourself first, it does – it has more impact on this earth than a thousand Mother Teresas. And that is true. Now, Mother Teresa was a wonderful icon for those who like suffering. <laughs> And those who – I'm sorry, Caldra, but for those who like to earn their worthiness into heaven by suffering, Shambhara, this new energy, it's about loving yourself. For how can you ever tell anybody else about how to heal, about how to transform, about how to integrate with their spirit unless you've learned it first? The most important word is self. When you take yourself into consideration, then you'll come to understand something that has eluded many of you, the meaning behind I am that I am. Some of you say the words but have no idea what you're saying, and that's okay. St. <laughs> Germain's going to <clears throat> work with you. <laughs> he has a special course he's designing called Remedial I Amness. <laughs> <laughs> the most important word is self. You. You. It's about accepting yourself. It's about the compassion. Compassion has to be for yourself first, otherwise it is meaningless in this world. The love has to be for yourself first, other. Why is it is meaningless? And actually the word love is – actually, if you take a look at its consciousness uh, quotient, it's becoming not such a good word anymore. In human energetic terms, it is coming to mean deception and energy stealing and falseness. When you truly love yourself, when you accept everything about yourself, no more, no more this list of things you have to do to make yourself correct. I'm so tired of that, Shambra. I want you to throw out all your goals, all of the things you're working on, all your programs, everything else, because it just means that you can't complete your circle. Every goal, every program, everything you say you're going to do – losing weight, becoming smarter, being better looking, doing all of these things – makes that gap between closure, the completion of self, greater and greater. Well, you can't go backwards, but you can make a gap much bigger. So dear Shambhar, the most important word, self. The most important reminder that any of us can give you is to trust. Trust yourself, nobody else, until you trust yourself. It's there. It's all there. All of the healing of your body, everything you need, all of the answers, if you would just trust yourself. There's still a tendency to put the trust somewhere else, in someone else, to run off to a reader, <laughs> or, 
or a healer, but a healer who you're putting your, the power into them. Facilitators, yes, sometimes it's good to have somebody facilitate, as long as you take the driver's seat, the main seat, the responsibility. Then they can help make it a little easier or at least more entertaining. <laughs> and you're helping them in their livelihood to earn their living as facilitators. You realize in trust – oh, dear ones, you have fallen out of trust with yourself. You've, you've put this overlay of, of human um, – what you would say – human flaws and, and errant ways and all the rest of that. It's like this big layer over yourself. Trust yourself always. Go back to the simplest form of trust. Don't, don't, mental trust doesn't ultimately do a whole lot of good. When you have something coming up in your life, something a little scary, something that causes anxiety, makes your palms a little sweaty, trust yourself. Well, yes, you may feel fear. I'm not, I'm not saying you're going to erase this thing called fear. Fear is actually a wonderful energy once it's transmuted and puts, put into creative manifestation. Trust, implicitly trust yourself. That's a hard thing to do. You trust yourself a little. You trust yourself based on where you've learned you're not going to deceive yourself from past experiences, but I'm talking trusting yourself with your health. Trusting – the body is not a foreign object. It's you manifest on earth. Trust it. Trust you. Trust you even when some of the darkest storm clouds roll in and trust that the storm clouds aren't what necessarily what you think, and sometimes a good storm clears a lot of energy. Trust that it's there. Stop running from it. A lot of you play this game of what we call, uh, say, call being positive, or you play this game of telling yourself over and over that it's going to be all right, but never really believing it. Yeah, some of you play this game of running, running, running. Stop for a moment. I don't care what it is, even if you're facing death. No matter what it is, when you allow the trust in yourself and nobody else the trust in yourself, you initiate, you, you trigger all of the systems that are already within you to go to work to serve you. And when you let go of having to run other places for your trust, for your protection, when you let go of having to do a false optimism and allow everything – the dark, the light, the good, the bad – and absolutely trust yourself, you're going to discover miracles, miracles in the simplest way. Please trust yourself. Oh, some of you, I have cried with you. I have argued with you. I have I've had to threaten a few of you. <laughs> Trust yourself. Now, how do you know when you're not trusting yourself? Because your mind jumps in and it starts uh, – you get all that head chatter and you lay up uh, – you lay awake so, so late at night worrying and you forget to trust. You created it. It's in its perfection, not God's perfection, not God in some other place, in your perfection. You created it. Trust it now. Trust every part of yourself. <sighs> you know, sometimes it only appears that you're falling down. Sometimes it only appears that things are falling apart. But in the true energy of trust, you'll understand that you've created something in perfection. It's not falling apart. It's reorganizing itself. Dear Schomburg, trust in yourself. Point number three, the thing that you can absolutely count on, the thing that you can count on more than anything is evolution or change. 
I've heard it before. Thing that's that's certain is change. Everything else becomes uncertain or becomes just an experience in the past. Your life is going to change. Your let me say evolve. Your life is going to evolve. So get comfortable with that. Evolving means yes, sometimes it's you're going to move to a different location, you're going to change the landscape of the people who are in your life. Change means sometimes you're going to lose your job in order to find your true passion, but expect change. You came in at a time of change and you knew it. You have asked for change in your life, but then you're flabbergasted when it comes around. <laughs> Dear Shumper, the world is changing, and there are those who are going to have difficulty handling it mentally, physically, spiritually. You're actually in a better position than just about any other group we know of to handle change, but still you resist it. How about breathing it in? How about allowing it in? If you understand, you're the one who set up that change. It's only frightening if the change comes from somewhere else. But you've set it up. You've set up the changes in your life, the changes that are going on in the world right now. Breathe in and soak in that change. What right now it's it's going to happen, but right now you're resisting it, so it creates a friction of consciousness, which creates discomfort in your body and discomfort for just being here on the planet. The minute you embrace change, well, you're going to understand something that I'm not going to speak about right now. Adamus will speak about it, but change isn't at all what you think it is. And one last thing. Out of my four topics today, the gift to give yourself, and you already know this. Some of you tire of hearing about it, but the gift to give yourself is to breathe. Breathing affirms that you're alive and that you're choosing to be here. And how many of you, don't raise your hands, you'll embarrass yourself, but how many of you have not really known whether you want to be here? How many of you have been in the, uh, what you call a neutral or indecisive zone for years of time now? Stay or leave? Stay or leave? Well, breathe. It will either be your last breath or <laughs> or dear Shambra, it's going to reinvigorate every part of you. Breathing you gets you out of your head into your passion, your soul, and your spirit. Breathing does this amazing thing by allowing the energy of spirit into this reality, into this lifetime. Breathing gets the energies going. Breathing is the way that you bring in new energy from the other realm. Breathing is a gift to yourself. Breathing reminds you of how simple it should be. When you get off in all of these other complex practices and methodologies and searching and hunting, come back to the breath, because that's where you're at. Breathing brings in the now moment. Breathing provides the flexibility of your consciousness so it can expand into new consciousness and new realms. Breathing opens up every sense so you come back to being a sensory human, not just a dull jack. <laughs> Breathing opens you up so you can feel again. It does. It's the easiest prescription in the world to breathe, breathe, and then breathe. You want us to come up with something new and different, something more exciting, but <laughs> dear Jambra, it's in the breath. It's in the breath. 